Hi everyone, I'm going to read a story for you today. It's by Julia Donaldson and David Roberts and it's called Tyrannosaurus Trip. Right. In a swamp beside a river where the land was thick with veg, lived a herd of duckbill dinosaurs who roamed the water's edge. And they hooted up with rivers and they hooted up with reeds. And they hooted up with bellyfuls of juicy, juicy water weeds. Now across the rushy river, on a hill the other side, lived a mean Tyrannosaurus with his grim and grisly bride. And they shouted up with hunting, and they shouted up with war, and they shouted up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur. But the two Tyrannosauruses, so grisly, mean and grim, couldn't catch the duckbill dinosaurs because they could not swim. And they muttered down with water, and they muttered down with wet, and they muttered what a shame that bridges aren't invented yet. Now, a little comp... Oh gosh, hang on a minute, boys and girls. Compsognathus, but for short we'll call her comp, found a duckbill egg and stole it from a nest beside the swamp. And she swam with it and ran with it and murmured, clever me. And weren't the baby comps be thrilled with duckbill egg for tea? She dropped the egg in terror and went running for her life from the mean Tyrannosaurus and his grim and grisly wife. And the duckbill egg went rolling and at last it came to rest in of all unlikely places, the Tyrannosaurus nest. Now the mother T had great big jaws and great enormous legs, but her brain was rather little and she couldn't count her eggs. And she sang, hatch out my terrors with your scaly little tails and your spiky little toothies and your scary little nails. Out hatch babies one and two as perfect as could be. But Mother T was horrified by baby number three. And she grumbled, he looks weedy. And she grumbled, he looks weak. And she grumbled, what long arms. And look, his mouth is like a beak. He just needs feeding up, said Dad, and gave the babes some meat. The first two gulped and guzzled, but the third refused to eat. And he said, I'm really sorry. And he said, I simply can't. And he said, this meat looks horrible. I'd rather eat a plant. A plant, yelled mum in horror. And dad said, get a grip. His sisters found a name for him, Tyrannosaurus Drip. And they shouted up with hunting. And they shouted up with war. And they shouted up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur. Poor Tyrannosaurus Drip tried hard to sing along. But the others yelled, you silly drip, you've got the words all wrong. For he hooted down with hunting, and he hooted down with war, and he hooted down with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur. Drip's sisters soon grew big enough to hunt with dad and mum. But they turned to Drip and told him, you're not fierce enough to come. And he cried, they've gone without me. And he cried, alack a day. And he cried, this doesn't feel like home. I'm going to run away. So off he ran to the river where he saw a lovely sight. A herd of duckbill dinosaurs all hooting with delight. And they hooted up with rivers and they hooted up with reeds. And they hooted up with bellyfuls of juicy water weeds. As he stood there on the bank, a sudden edge took hold of him and he jumped into the water and discovered he could swim. And the duckbills came to greet him by the rushy river's edge. And they hooted, nice to see you. And they hooted, have some veg. And Rip, who was delighted that they hadn't run away, ate bellyfuls of water weeds and played with them all day. Then he gazed into the river and asked them, who, or uh, who, is that creature in the water? And they laughed and said, it's you. That night the lightning crackled and a storm blew down a tree and it fell across the river and the tees cried out, yippee! 
And they shouted up with hunting, and they shouted up with war, and they shouted up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur. Drip's sisters stepped out onto the bridge, but then began to frown. For there in front of them stood Drip, who yelled, look out, look down. And they looked into the water, and they each let out a yelp. And then one cried, water monsters, and the other one cried, help. Their mother scolded, nonsense, and she joined them on the tree. Then she looked into the water and exclaimed, goodness gracious me. The three of them stood trembling and dad said, get a grip. You're all of you as drippy as Tyrannosaurus drip. He strode onto the bridge and scoffed, I bet there's nothing there. Then he looked into the water and jumped into the air. And how the duckbills hooted when he landed with a crash. The tree bridge broke and four Tyrannosauruses went splash. And spluttering and clinging to the branches of the tree, they went whooshing down a waterfall and all the way to sea. And the duckbills hooted happily. They hooted hip, 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 hooray for the heroic one and only duckbill drip. The end. <laughs>